So, my name is Igor and uh, I'm a composer from Portugal, from Porto. Uh, and I was supposed to work with Nemo on this new project in April, uh, where they were, they were supposed to play um, You Should Be Blind to Watch TV, which is a piece that I wrote in 2013. And um, it's actually a piece that uh, I do think that it's a very actual piece because um, it, uh, it, it talks about how, um, how TV and social media is distorting our perception of real reality. And uh, in, in the end, it's a, very, it's a very actual piece right now because uh, even now through this crisis that we are living, uh, we see every day like uh, a lot of um, contradiction in the news and uh, a lot of conspiracy theories every single day. So it, it, we are like overloaded of information and I do think that, um, that it uh, creates a distortion of the reality and it makes it very difficult for us to, to actually understand what is the situation. So I do, so that's basically the piece and the piece is about that and um, it couldn't be a better piece to play now actually. Um, well, as you all know, unfortunately it got cancelled, uh, but uh, I was already working with Nemo for this project in uh, February. Uh, we had a, the first rehearsal uh, together and it was already working super well and uh, I was very excited and, uh, very excited to, to work with Nemo and to have I was looking forward for this concert because it was working really well the way they are playing the piece and their their interpretation. I got in contact with Nemo uh, after I knew about them because for some reason I I, I uh, discovered Nemo on the internet because of some recordings or some programs and I really thought it was a, a cool ensemble with a with a specific kind of program and a specific kind of musical view and I, and I thought it was that was really really cool and um, I and then a couple of months later I received an email from Wim and uh, inviting me to work with Nemo and that's that, that's how I started uh, the collaboration uh, and I was super thrilled um, to, to be invited for uh, to, to work with them uh, and to work with such a nice ensemble and such a young ensemble because uh, yeah because I think it's this kind of ensembles we're actually doing um, a lot for for new music not necessarily for contemporary music but for new music <laughs> well I think the April production again is a uh, is this kind of program that uh, Nemo usually does, which is a, a, program, a program that it works as a concert, but it's not anymore the traditional concept of concert and actual pieces are, uh, are also creates a different kind of environment uh, in the concert, so I, I think it's, um, it's exactly the kind of program that I like to have pieces, my, my own pieces in, because um, yeah, it makes sense, it's a, it's a very a live kind of concert and um, and uh, for me that's the most exciting kind of uh, of program even as a, an audience when I go to a concert this is the kind of concert that I that I always get um, yeah that I always remember and I always um, get excited about yeah I've been I've been working a lot with uh, recently with uh, with multimedia with new media tools um, and it's becoming my focus um, at the same time I'm also working a lot with a, um, or very often with jazz musicians in different kinds of uh, in different kinds of uh, projects uh, recording a lot I'm um, yeah uh, I'm using a lot of yeah jazz musicians in my work now uh, for, for many reasons um, producing a lot of music also in this kind of context uh, studio music of course I'm talking about now um, yeah so there is there is a lot of things changing uh, um, through, throughout the years uh, in my my music and I do think that the multimedia 
the multimedia approach is being one of the most important uh, uh, um, changes and one of the most important ways of uh, creating music for me. Yes, about the influences. Uh, that's always tricky to, to talk about for me uh, because I really like a lot of music and uh, a lot of different kinds of music, a lot of different kinds of art. Um, so it's it's uh, it's difficult to understand how do I filter things until they become my influences. Uh, but I, yeah, but I think that everything that it's uh, that I listen. I usually, it, for some reason, it becomes part of what I what I do. Um, I, uh, recently, uh, as I said before, yes, because of the new, of the new multimedia tools, I do think that of course most of the composers that are working with new new multimedia tools are becoming. Uh, I'm becoming aware of them, and that's there is some kind of community around it. So well, I think we are uh, we are all influencing each other on that. Um, especially like the young generation, I think that's that's quite obvious. Um, at the same time, I'm paying attention to a lot of music, like uh, a lot of jazz musicians that are doing uh, music that's not necessarily jazz, but it's uh, very, very, very exciting, a very specific and very interesting way of writing music and playing that kind of music. So, um, which has nothing to do with, let's say, uh, new experimental contemporary music, but for some reason there's something there that is absolutely fresh and I, I'm, I'm being very... Um, I feel very excited about it. How, how am I living the global crisis? Well, it sucks. It sucks, it's not funny. But, um, as long as I'm healthy and as long as people around me, my family, my people are healthy. Um, things are, yeah, it's 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 okay. It's okay. Um, I have to say, of course, I, I almost feel a bit um, uh, unfair to say this, but the truth is that uh, my life didn't change so much as a composer, <laughs> because I think composers are always in quarantine, right? Um, uh, creative artists all are always in, in quarantine, in confinement. Um, so my life didn't change so much in that sense. Uh, the only thing is that I'm not going to to have drinks on the pub, in the pub with with my friends. I'm not going to, I'm not. I cannot go surfing. Uh, they cancel surfing. I don't know why. Uh, but so I cannot do that, which is terrible. Especially that I, that I got locked uh, in Porto. So I, I got stuck in Porto. I was not able to return to Amsterdam. So I thought, all right, great. I can work and I can go surfing every day. But they, they cancelled surfing. Uh, so uh, that's that's bad. That's bad. Uh, anyway, but I, I had help, uh, a little help from some friends uh, to borrow me uh, some equipment uh, because I don't have anything here in Portugal because all my gear, my studio is in Amsterdam. So I just came here uh, for a week with a like holidays week basically. But I still brought computers and and some and my other interface so I, the important stuff were they were it was with me but um, yeah uh, they were able to to borrow me some equipment uh, some speakers and stuff so I was able actually to yeah to create a small home studio I think you can see it so this is where I'm where I am right now um, working every every day on new music, on um, yeah, on some new projects. Also, I'm recording a lot, uh, taking care of uh, also mixing and mastering some new pieces. Um, so it's it's still productive in in, in that sense. Um, and yeah, I don't things cannot stop. I I do think. As long as we are healthy and as long as people around us are healthy, I think it's it's very important to carry on, and I think that's the only way to to go through this crisis uh, without um, yeah, with still being uh, being okay. It's the um, it's the only solution for me. It's the only solution is really just to 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 carry on. The only yeah, also the sad part is that um, I cannot work with with people. 
Uh, so there was a lot of recordings that I wanted to do um, during this time that I'm not able to do. I'm not able to rehearse. Okay. But I'm still able to write, produce, to record on my own, to mix. So yeah, it's 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 okay. Uh, I'm not creating more than ever. I don't think so. I think it's more or less the same. What I do feel is that the way of thinking changes a bit because life is different. I do think life is different because, of course. Uh, uh, um, we are, I'm even, uh, although I'm always in, in isolation at home <laughs> working, but I'm even more in isolation, so uh, there's not uh, other things to do, so um, that that changes the, the, the way of, of uh, looking at, at work, looking at, uh, looking at the act of writing music. So, uh, yeah, I'm just producing the, more or less the same amount of music and uh, um, but there's one, one cool thing about it, which is uh, there is this feeling of, uh, at least for me, there is this feeling of, uh, um, of, of suspension. It's, it's not that life is not suspended, but in a way it is a bit like we're all waiting for better times. And uh, while we're waiting, we can take advantage of that. So, of course, I'm, as I said, I'm writing, I'm mixing, I'm producing, but I'm also able to use this time to do things that I w that I wanted to do for a long time, uh, or starting starting new projects, starting new recordings, starting new pieces that I wanted to to do it to do it. But uh, I was just not able. I just couldn't find time for that. So the, for for the very first time, I I I I got time for it. So um, so that's exciting. Um, uh, that's the only exciting thing about this in the end, of course. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm hoping that this goes away soon. We're all hoping this goes away soon because we have a concert with Nemo, right? Uh, very soon there's already a date uh, for that. So uh, let's hope we can we can do it as soon as possible. Start rehearsing again, and um, yeah, and starting. Uh, uh, starting gradually uh, going back to our lives and, and uh, but still it's important it's very important to keep um, yeah to keep still being happy so it's important to be happy during these days because there's no point in going through this crisis if we cannot find a way of being happy during this situation and yeah so I wish you all um, safe times and happy times as possible. Um, take care. Bye.